Hi guys, it's Miss Matsi, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the seasons. So I'm going to walk you through the Chapter 4 Seasons note. Alright, so here we are in the Chapter 4 Seasons notes that have been provided for you for some review. And we are going to talk um, mostly about revolution, rotation, and why we have seasons. But remember that Earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago, and so was everything in our solar system. It wasn't just Earth. Earth is actually not a complete perfect sphere. It's called an oblate spheroid, so it's actually flattened at the poles. It's like somebody put their hand on the North Pole and the South Pole and just flattened the Earth, so it's bulging at the equator. Uh, we're going to talk about all this stuff later, like what Earth is made of and Earth's structure, so you can click through this until, you know, interestingly, Earth is one of the only inner planets with a magnetic field and if we didn't have a magnetic field we wouldn't be able to have life as we know it on earth because the really harmful UV rays coming from the sun would kill us so it's really interesting that we have such a strong magnetic field for such a small planet that we are but that's a side note that's not on the test um, all right so here you see we have some evidence for rotation don't forget the rotation is spinning on its axis um, this scientist John Foucault in 1851 he created a really high 20-story high pendulum and when that pendulum was set in motion any pendulum it won't change direction but he noticed that his did change direction and it shifted every hour um, about 11 degrees clockwise so that was a big piece of evidence for the fact that earth is rotating and here's a picture of that here also our winds um, rotate it's called the Coriolis effect if earth wasn't rotating then our winds wouldn't be deflected like they are in the northern hemisphere to the right and southern hemisphere to the left earth's axis is an imaginary straight line through the north and the south poles Earth rotates around its axis. Earth's axis is tilted 23.5 degrees perpendicular to the orbital plane. So um, that happened when Earth was hit by a large object early on in Earth's um, uh, life. And you can see that here. So this line that looks like a piece of paper cutting through Earth, that's the orbital plane. And then you can see Earth's North Pole is tilted. And it's tilted 23.5 degrees from straight up and down. Earth makes one complete rotation, 360 degrees, in 24 hours or one day. So that's 15 degrees per hour. Only 50% of Earth or half of Earth receives sunlight at any given time, but it's always that way. Uh, we do have different time zones because of our rotation, but that is not going to be on your test. So, Earth's revolution. Alright, so here we are on Earth's revolution. We're going to talk about evidence of Earth's revolution and describe Earth's path and rate of revolution as well as explain why we have seasons. So revolution is like almost the same as when people say orbit around the sun or revolution around the sun. Um, when we talk about Earth, it's going around the sun, but if we talk about the moon, the moon's going around Earth. So revolution is when it goes around another body. What is our ev evidence that Earth is even revolving around the sun at all? Well, the constellations change position in the sky throughout the year, throughout the year. Also, there's something called parallax, which is the apparent shift in nearby stars in comparison to distant stars. Those are two big pieces of evidence for Earth's revolution. All right, it takes Earth 365 days to make one Earth revolution. Revolution is counterclockwise when viewed from the North Pole. Earth's orbit is an ellipse or elliptical or um, oval shape. It is not circular. So when we look at this diagram here, you can see that Earth's revolution is not circular around the sun. And at some times of the year, 
Earth is a little bit farther from the sun, like in this case, 152 million kilometers, versus other times of the year, it's only 147 million kilometers um, away from the sun. So when it's far from the sun, it's called ap. So far away, a, ap, ap helion, and then near peri helion. One thing that you notice is that in the northern hemisphere, when we're furthest from the sun, it's our summertime. It's the hottest for us. So where we are in our revolution doesn't actually affect our seasons. What affects our season is whether or not we're, we are tilted toward the sun, like we are here. See how the North Pole is tilted away, uh, tilted toward the sun, whereas over here in our winter time, the North Pole is tilted toward the sun. So what happens because we revolve around the sun and we're tilted? That creates the seasons. That creates the length of day. Like, you know how in summer um, it's light out until 9 o'clock, but in winter it gets dark around like 4.30 or 5. Um, we've looked at this a lot. So in this picture here, the North Pole is tilted away from the sun. The North Pole is actually in 24 hours of darkness. And this is the Northern Hemisphere's winter. Seasons are opposite though. So this is actually summertime for the Southern Hemisphere. 